video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. This is not going to be a super in-depth video, but I wanted to quickly go over some of my favorite ad blocking technology for the iPhone. Now, if you watch on the YouTube app on your phone, uh, you're going to get ads within the YouTube app. But maybe you use a bunch of different free apps that have advertisements in them and you're tired of seeing the ads. I'm going to give you two different apps that you can use to block those advertisements for good. The first one I want to show you guys is called Next DNS. Now, this is something that I just started looking into and it has worked very, very well. Literally, this is all there is to it. That's it. It's just a toggle on or off. Now, you do have to make an account on the computer or your phone, whatever, um, on their website. But once you create the account, you just link up your ID. Now, if you click this little button down here, I'm going to scroll down just a bit so you don't see my ID. Basically, what you do is on a computer, I recommend doing it on a computer. Just go to the computer, go to NextDNS website, make an account, add every block list that you want to block. Do you want to block certain Facebook ads? Do you want to block uh, trackers? Do you want to block analytics? You can block anything you want. You add every list you want on the computer and you type in your custom configuration code up there at the top, which I'm not showing, and your phone will automatically block all of those trackers. It is super cool. And all you have to do to um, do this, you just go into settings, scroll down to a general, scroll down just a bit until you see VPN, DNS, and device management. Click on that, click on DNS, and just set it to next DNS, and you're good to go. That's it. And then if you want to send device name, I recommend it if you want to filter, because you can see the logs of everything this thing blocks. It is crazy. It blocks so many different ads. So yeah, that is just a quick tip. That's tip number one. So get next DNS. I'll have a link down below in the description. It'll bring you straight to the next DNS website. You can sign up from there. It's super easy. Setup probably takes less than three minutes and you can block as many ads as you want, as many trackers as you want. For example, I block a ton of Apple analytics that Apple tries to send in the background. So Apple can't get those anymore. Sorry guys. Now, next up, I also use one called Lockdown. So this is kind of like a local device firewall. So the other one was DNS based. This one's just on your phone. So none of this goes to the cloud or anything like the other one. This one stays on your device only. It's a little bit more rudimentary. You can see I blocked 1.19 million trackers using this firewall. You do not need this tunnel VPN that costs money. This part's free though. Uh, here is my block list. Got pretty much everything blocked except for Facebook. So yeah, that's that. You can view the log here. So I could see how many times Facebook tried to call to their servers, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Amazon, they do a lot. So there's all kinds of crap that this blocks. I love it. So I use both of these. I use next DNS plus lockdown and that blocks so many trackers on the phone. It's crazy. Now, lastly, guys, I'm going to put you on some game. Don't use the YouTube app on your phone. I know it's convenient. Just use Safari. So go to Safari, go to YouTube in Safari, sign in, and you can see all your subscriptions there. Just make sure you put on AdGuard Pro and AdBlock Pro. You can even use the free version of this one if you want. You don't have to pay. Just turn on the ad blocking features of this app and it will block all ads within YouTube on their website, not the app. You cannot use the YouTube app. They always have ads there. You can't get around that unless you pay for YouTube Red or whatever. If you don't want to see ads on your phone, just go to Safari, go to YouTube and have these turned on. The other ones I can recommend are also, let me see here, baking soda and vinegar. Those will uh, kind of change the YouTube player to be a little bit more palatable when you're on their website. So install those, those cost a little money, like two bucks, but they work perfectly. And then if you do have deeper pockets, you can get Stop the Madness, but if you're going that deep, uh, go to their um, app page and make sure it's what you want because it's like 10 bucks. And then Noir, if you like dark mode on every website you visit, I love it. So those are just my quick tips for you guys. The biggest one being Next DNS because I think a lot of people haven't heard about this and it could be a game changer for you. You can block whatever you want, you can choose. And if you're a parent, you can also limit uh, what your kids can go on through DNS. So just download this app. Again, links down below, try it out. Let me know what you think. If you want me to do a deeper dive of this, like show you guys the interface on NextDNS's website, let me know. But this is just a quick video to put this out there so you guys can go download these apps, try them out for yourself, and hopefully stop having to see pesky ads and trackers online. So that's all I got. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe. Like I said, links to all these down below so you guys go to the right apps. Thumbs up, subscribe. Peace.